Hello, let me now once again welcome you in the course and ask experienced users to skip this lecture. Otherwise, please follow along, pause the video and just repeat everything on your home computer. Now open your R Studio and click on File, New Project. You will now get three possible choices. Create new directory and then click on Empty Project. Now identify the project path. In this case, I have already created a folder in My Documents folder and I call it Identify Problems AI. Then you can type a directory name. I will type here 01 practice new project.r and will click OK. You will now see that a new folder was generated. You can click on button identify problem AI and you will see that uh, you have actually a new project folder. Then uh, you go on the click on the file R script. You will see and you actually see that new script, the space is appearing. And now I will welcome you to pause and uh, read my script that I have on the screen here. Uh, try to type these comments yourself, execute them one by one uh, by pressing um, Control Enter. Uh, please notice what is actually happening. Once you've done it, uh, save the script and uh, you will see that it will appear in the file stop. This script you can save, uh, delete, copy and paste and, and so on. Last thing we'll do now is to clear the console and history. Uh, Click uh, somewhere in the console and press Ctrl L and then click on the history tab and click on the brush. So you see that you cleaned everything from the console and from the history. Now you can close this project by pressing file, close project. You will also have a list of actions that I will attach to this lecture. Uh, so you can practice for yourself to do homework just by simply trying commands that I will write down. It is attached to this lecture, so please free to do it. For If you want to skip it, up to you. Now the second thing we will do today is uh, we will create another new project, but this time it will be uh, the Shiny app. Uh, we'll do this to understand some basics before uh, we will jump into the real uh, Shiny app in the next lecture where you will receive the sample code and you will be uh, exposed to the more advanced app. In this case, uh, let's clarify something on uh, Shiny app before while we have it very simple. Uh, click on File and New Project. Create a new uh, directory again. And uh, the name, for example, will be 02 Practice a New Shiny. Uh, once you will click OK, you will see that uh, two uh, scripts created for you. Uh, actually, this is a pre compiled app. You can just click Run App on the top right. And you will see the window, uh, title, slide bar, and histogram. You can play with this app and see what is happening. You see that uh, once you are changing the slide, the graph is uh, interactively changes. This is the entire beauty of the app, which is uh, you. It's enabling great presentation, great interactive presentation. Now close this window. Um, if necessary, you can press the stop button here. Uh, this is indicating that um, your app is still running. Now we will make a little exercise to modify our app. Go to this website, uh, shiny.rstudio.com and once open, you click reference. 
click on the latest version, functions reference, and then uh, simply search submit button function. Click on it and once the description will appear, copy this function. Go back to your script ui.r and go to the um, and find the slider input function. Right after the end of this uh, function, put comma, hint enter and paste the code you just copied from the website. Save the script and run the app. Uh, you can try to move now the slider and now you will notice the difference. In fact, graph is only updating after you are pressing the button. Now you just practice to add a button to the user interface uh, script. So you added a user input element to the script. Uh, so you can now close the window with the app. Now we will make another uh, little experiment. We go to uh, the um, uh, file ui.r script and we'll find the function plot output. This is the function that is actually generating the space for our plot. You can now copy this uh, function together, everything together, and then place the cursor right after this function, put comma, hit enter, and paste the content. But then just change the dist plot in the second function uh, to, uh, to name it scatterplot, for example. Now go to the server.r file and copy everything that is within output dollar dist plot and braces and paste it uh, just below the first one. Uh, you are now uh, copy uh, the entire block and now we will change uh, instead of dist plot on the second uh, second chunk we will uh, type a scatter plot. Uh, we then uh, can delete everything from curly braces and just leave a plot and x in, uh, in, the, um, in the braces. Okay, we can now uh, save, uh, save our files and run the app again. Uh, you will actually see that uh, nothing is generated in the second plot and you have error. Uh, go back to the server, our script, and create some space right here. Then type x uh, assignment operator and type reactive, uh, type enter. This will create a function. And in between those uh, braces, uh, you just uh, type faithful. This is a data set. And within... Um, square braces, type space, comma, two, and uh, close it within curly braces, like I'm showing you now. This is actually creating a reactive value, which you can now reuse in the render plot function, in your second render plot function. Now go to the plot, and instead of uh, x, you can add uh, braces. It will be x with braces. Now you can save and run the app. This way, uh, now you see both graphs are actually appearing. So you can save the project and uh, close it. This was just a bit of explanation where uh, you learn probably a few things. And uh, I will further summarize what was the learning experience you just undertaken. You have learned how to create uh, new projects either just empty project or shiny app project. You can create scripts and save these uh, scripts as files. Uh, you learn where to find reference to the functions for shiny app. This is very useful. And you was actually able to add elements to the user interface script, like button or even the entire output, like a plot. You can also uh, add elements to your output by creating a completely new plot and you even try to save a data set as a reactive 
function for your Shiny app. More on that will for sure come later. So thank you for being here today. Um, I believe it was a very easy lecture. Of course, practice more and more. Uh, and I'm looking forward to see you in the next one where we will learn how to load from load sorry load the project from public github repository which i created specially for this course i'll see you then